Hi, I'm Andrea Everard. I'm an Associate Professor in Accounting and MIS in the Lerner College of Business here at the University of Delaware. I've been asked today to talk a little bit about open textbooks, how I came about to uh, learn about them, um, how I've been using them, my experiences with them, and then perhaps maybe give some recommendations or suggestions as to how um, other people could really um, get interested and then integrate them into their classes. A few years back, uh, a colleague of mine actually introduced me to um, an open textbook called Flat World Knowledge. At the time, I agreed to look at it and uh, being somewhat busy, I then put it on the back burner and didn't really look at it for probably about another year to 13 months, um, at which time I then picked it up and realized that it was a very good textbook, it was very high quality, the content was um, very relevant to what I teach. And uh, so my very first experience using an open textbook was in the spring term of 2011. And I was still somewhat or very comfortable using the traditional textbook that I've been using for a number of years. And so I kind of used the traditional textbook as a, um, a bit of a safety blanket. I used the open textbook in uh, conjunction with the um, open textbook Again, a little bit of a, of a safety blanket, but after one term of using an open textbook, I decided that for the fall 2011 term, I would switch and only use an open textbook. Okay, so what I've found um, really from teaching my 427 class is that students are really digital natives. That is that they have essentially um, been brought up with using technology, they're very comfortable using technology. And so when I first came in uh, to the classroom in the, at the beginning of the spring 2011 term and essentially um, said to them that we were gonna be using an open textbook which was available online, um, most of the reactions were, oh, that's really cool. I really like that idea. Um, and a few asked me if it was in printed version. I said there was that option, but most of them um, at the end of the, of the term when I asked them a few questions about their experiences t told me they were very comfortable reading, uh, reading it online. So I'm very willing to change my course um, even during the term, not only revising it from term to term, but also even during the term. For example, um, in, I believe it was April 2011, a special report on information technology came out in the Wall Street Journal. And really the six or seven articles that, um, that, that combined to make this report were really very relevant to our course. We had touched on um, all of the topics that the Wall Street Journal were was talking about, and I essentially assigned those articles to my class uh, in May 2011. So again, I'm very willing to revise the course. Now, of course, it kind of disturbs the class a little bit, um, not the students so much, but in terms of if you have organization and if you have flow, suddenly I come in one day and say, well, we're not really gonna touch on knowledge management for two whole um, class periods. We're gonna finish that in one class period and we're gonna really look at the Wall Street Journal articles because I think that they're very relevant and they're very, um, they're very appropriate for this class. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I switched to um, an open textbook uh, in, in, uh, in combination with a traditional textbook in the spring of 2011, and I'm going to um, only use the open textbook in my fall 2011 um, class. Some of the things um, that I'd like to tell you today as to why I have decided to only go to um, open textbooks, there are a lot of benefits. Um, the main one that I see, uh, for the students definitely, it's a cost issue. Um, typically, if you read these online textbooks uh, online, they are free. If not, if you print them, you can print certain chapters, you can print certain um, only certain parts of the book, which of course then makes it much less expensive than a traditional textbook. Uh, in certain cases, you can print the whole online textbook, um, and typically it will range from 20 to 30, or maybe $35, which is much less than a traditional textbook. Um, but from a, from a professor's standpoint, what I really like about it is the level of customization that you can actually achieve with open textbooks. Um, you can essentially take out anything that you don't want in the book. You can rearrange paragraphs, you can change sentences, you can um, include different types of media. So if you wanted to, um, for the online version, if you wanted to um, have a YouTube video uh, pop up or some kind of other um, 
media uh, resources, you could actually integrate them into, um, into the book. Once you've customized it to exactly how you want it, um, the, um, the, you actually get a unique ISBN number and so that then if you want your bookstore to print it for you, um, it will be a unique, it will be a unique um, textbook. Something else that I also really like about the uh, open textbooks are the different versions of the different formats that are available for open textbooks. Um, as I've mentioned, you can read it typically online for free. You can print only parts of the, um, of the book, typically a chapter, or you can print the whole chapter, and you can download it to um, a Nook or a Kindle, so you can have it as an e-reader, as an e-reader e format. You can also have it as an audio format, and some of my students have commented that um, they chose to listen to the chapter that I had assigned in the spring of 2011 um, as audio format. They said they had a long commute from work to school and school to home, and that they found it, um, they just found it, it was a very good use of their time. They would listen to the audio uh, format and then would go back home and look at the web version. Um, and essentially they would be seeing or hearing the material uh, twice and they would be able to recall a lot of the material um, that way. Um, something else that my students have told me that they really find um, interesting and they, they find it uh, is helps with their learning is that the chapters of these open textbooks are often the length of the chapters are probably not any shorter than traditional chapters but there are a lot more um, sub subdivisions or subsections um, and so there are kind of smaller chunks of information and it's easier to assimilate and um, nearly all of my students uh, mentioned to me that they really liked the, um, the, the there are a lot of examples there are a lot of um, different types of case studies and so it not only was telling you or kind of trying to get you to learn the information, but we're really giving you very up-to-date, very relevant examples. And again, that brought the that brought the material um, much more uh, to much much more to life. I think the biggest obstacle to open textbooks is not coming from the students, but much more from the instructors. Um, and for people who, like myself, um, are probably more comfortable with the traditional um, paper printed textbook, um, and there's certainly a level of change um, and acceptance of, of something new that has to um, take place. But I think the most important thing to stress at this point is you have to be open. You have to be open that there are alternatives. You have to be open to um, trying to make your course as, as good as you can make it. And that might include things that you might not be so comfortable with. You might not be so familiar with. You might not be, you, you might not be a digital native yourself. But um, just w being accepting and being willing to go and look at what different alternatives are, I think, is a really important um, issue. Um, something I would like to stress, open textbooks might not be the venue for you. That might not be the best solution for you. But at least I think it's important to really be able to make an informed decision. Go and experience them, go and see what's available um, in, in, with an open textbook. And if it's not the best thing, then you can make an informed decision. So if there was one piece of advice that I would give to anybody is I'd go and look at open textbooks, go and experience them. If you need to, like I did, use the traditional and the open textbook at the same time until I got a little bit more comfortable, fine. Uh, you might not be teaching um, a course that involves information technology, which as I said previously is, is emerging, it's evolving, it's always changing, um, but most likely there is something out there that you can find very valuable.